Gary, another strange afternoon? Yeah, I thought honestly, I thought the boys played really well. A bit of a different performance for Tuesday, whereas we had all the ball, created all the chances. Today, you know, I think we had to be a bit more disciplined in terms of defending. The lads, we worked on it in the training ground, we played, we done it really well to the point that we frustrated Hamilton. They had a lot of long-range shots, but we actually had the best chances. And there wasn't much in the game, you think it's got to be nil-nil, and then we make a mistake, we try and clear it twice and we don't clear it properly. And the guy hits a world, a world-class strike and you think, phew. But credit to the lads, they go again. Um, and uh, we got an equaliser, which we thoroughly deserved. One all, and you think, you know, two nil up in the shoot, you're thinking to yourself, we can win this, we're up to six points, and it, it gives us a right good chance of getting out of the group with nine points. But as it is, you know, we're on five. Uh, you know, we've won one, drew two. We need to we need to win next week and just see what happens. When you conceded so late in the game, did you feel that that yeah, was... Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. It's kind of, Lyndon, I think, chases down a, a mistake for their player. The ball breaks and Dobbs taps it in. Um, you know, as I say, Alan, I think Alan made one save that he touched on the post that was a cross and it took a deflection, a good save. And he made a really good save from a free kick. But I don't really think he was really troubled that much apart from that. So that's credit to the players. You know, there was a good shape about us, a good uh, work ethic. I thought our fitness was good. You know, I think we've played three games in a week. Hamilton had a, never played during the week. So I think that was positive. But, you know, we're obviously a wee bit frustrated that we've not managed to win any of the shootouts because that extra point could be vital come the, come the end of next week. When you, you get a chance, you want it to fall like a chance that fell to Stephen Dome? Yeah, yeah and, you know, he, him and London I thought done very well. There was a lot of the times I don't know if people would have noticed it that we had to get one of them to drop onto the Hamilton's deep line midfielder when we never had the ball, so they were constantly moving. You know, I think if we looked at their stats it would probably be the most that they've ran for a long, long time. So they done the whole team were really, really good. You know, Mers playing his first game against Premier League opposition was good, he just tired at the end. Um, I th I j there was no real negatives for me apart from the goal we gave away because I think we can just let the ball run out of play. Uh, and I think obviously it's a lottery, but it's a negative that we've lost a second penalty shootout in the week. Did you say once it gets to penalties, it is just yeah. And at two 0 up, you know, you start thinking, oh, this is going to be ours, you know. And it ended up, I don't know, we got into a seventh or eighth penalty taker. But especially when you go past your first five, who are normally your confident ones, anything can happen. Hamilton hit some good penalties. Obviously, we never hit so many as good. And uh, you know, they win the shootout. So you know, you would expect Hamilton now to go on and win the group. We've been in the same points as us, two games to play. It's up to us to just try and win next week's games and see what happens. I, I, I don't know. I think, I think maybe Peter Head got out of the group we were in last year with eight points. So you never know. You have to look at the tables and work it out sort of mathematically. We'll have a better idea, I suppose, after Tuesday's games. But you know, the lads have done well this week. That's three games in a week. Uh, as I say, some of them have played the three full games, which is a hard ask at this stage of the season. We're still actively looking to try and bring players in. You know, we're waiting on two or three things happening at other clubs that are maybe free up players for us to bring in. So we've just got to be patient because we know they know the squad still needs boosted a wee bit. But you know, today was a it was a, it was a, a pleasing response to the disappointing result of Tuesday. Although, as I say, I thought we played well on Tuesday. We just we were wasteful in front of goal. You're talking there about players still to come in. I think that's been one concern about well from the fans that so many went out and there's. Four came in, so I think they're still looking for some signings. Can you tell them that that will happen? Well, we'll try. I can't tell them for definite. I'll try. What I can say is we're trying. You know, we've been between myself, the chairman, the board. We've been actively on the phone to clubs, finding out who's available, if they are available, when they'll be available, and if they are available, what sort of money are they going to be looking for and stuff. So. We, we, what I would say is we've done as much as we can do just now. You know, there's specific positions that we need to strengthen. We've been offered players that we've maybe, i.e., just now, you know, you've got three centre midfielders. It isn't important that we bring another centre midfielder in. You know, you've got the three there, you've got the two young lads that can play there. So there's other areas. So you, you don't just want to bring in players for the sake of bringing players in, but you're still weak in certain positions. So we're actively working. You know, I can, well, that's all I can say to the fans is that we can't have worked any harder this week than we have to try and set things up. But as I say, you know, There'll probably be loan signings, and if you're bringing in loan signings and for the Premier League, you have to wait on them getting their squads right before they let their young players go. And at the moment in time, that's what it is. It's a waiting game, and and you know maybe that we'll have we'll have started the league campaign before these players that we want become available. Another positive from today was it was another solid defensive performance. Yeah, I think that, with the three games, if you look at that, Stenish Muir had I think two shots on goal. East Kilbride had one, and I think Hamilton had maybe four or five today, but two or three of them were for long range. So I think defensively we're looking fine. 
we've always got a chance with Dobes and the team to score a goal. Obviously, we need play, as the season goes on, other people need to contribute to that. But you know, I think we've got to remember we've came away to a Premiership club today. Yeah, okay, they just survived last season, but they're still a Premiership club, and I don't think you could tell any difference between the two teams. So we need to take confidence for that. And we'll go back to having a different type of game next week where we'll probably have more of the ball and a team sitting in and we'll have to do better in terms of breaking them down than, than we did against East Kilbride. No disrespect to any of the other teams that are in the, the group, but this was always going to be your toughest test, wasn't it? In terms of the opposition, the quality you're playing against, yes, but the other games gave you different challenges. You know, we today we knew that Hamilton would have more of the ball than us, so... The onus isn't even you to go and break them down, you're trying to hit them on the counter-attack. When you play teams for a lower league, you end up having a lot more of the ball. Against Stenhouse Muir, we, it took a while, but we eventually got there, we broke them down after a while. And against East Kilbride, we did break them down, we just couldn't, we, we were wasteful in front of goal. So, each game presents different challenges. Would have liked to have been on more than five points when I, after the first three games, yes. Um, so, we're probably a little bit behind on what I would have liked to have had. But with the two games that you know we've not picked up more points, it, we've lost on penalties. So it is what it is. You know we'll analyse the week that's gone, as we always do, and the lads will come in. You know and, and we'll we'll train away next week, knowing that you know we're probably going, well we'll have to win next week to have any chance. How big a chance that is to get through eight points? I have no idea. You said that you couldn't afford to lose today, so you've done that. No, so that's right. But we didn't they set up. That way, not to lose the game, we set up to try and counteract Hamilton. You know, Marco went to see them against East Kilbride, said they had loads of possession, building for the back and an extra man in midfield. So we've got to try and stop that. And we've done that real, really well. You know, the players were they put in a real, real shift today. You know, they should be proud of their efforts. It's just unfortunate that we, that we lost the shootout. But that's football, you know. We dusted ourselves doing after Tuesday. We'll have to dust ourselves doing after the disappointment in all winning the shootout today and we go again. But in the main, there's nothing... You know, the first half against Stenhouse Muir was a maybe, you know, it was a bit sloppy, a bit slow, lethargic. The second half was fine. A performance against uh, East Kilbride was fine, we just never scored, and a performance today was fine. So, we're playing OK, we're defending well, as you said. We just, we, we just need a wee bit of luck and a wee bit of better finishing and we'll be OK. And of course, it's home next week, the final group. Yeah. Well, game of the group, so you'll be wanting to make that count. Yeah, you know, we want to... We want to try and win the game to give ourselves a chance to get through. And if we don't get through, we want to win the game to go into the first league game on the back of a one at home. You know, we're disappointed we didn't beat East Kilbride at home, as we'd be disappointed not to win any game at home, because we want to try and have a better home record than we did last year. You know, I think we dropped too many points at home last year. We had a better away record than we did home, which, you know, that can't keep continuing. So it's vitally important for different reasons, most important to try and get through. But to build momentum going into the league game starting the following week, we need to try and get the three points on Saturday.